put on board. We want to take this opportunity. I know my uh, first lady couldn't get here, but we want to give Melania Trump the Child Advocacy Award because she said she just she did so much for children when she was the first lady. So, sir, this is for Melania's petition. How good is this? Melania Trump just ditched Donald Trump at a fundraiser that he held at Mar-a-Lago. And at this fundraiser, the people were there to give Melania some BS performative award. But because she ditched Donald Trump, they had to give the award they were giving to Melania to Donald Trump. And he took the award from Melania and then acted like he was... I think he was the winner. Let me just show you what happened when Melania ditched Donald Trump. Play this clip. Put on board. We want to take this opportunity. I know my uh, first lady couldn't get here, but we want to give Melania Trump the Child Advocacy Award because she said she just she did so much for children when she was first lady. So, sir, this is for Melania's petition. And by the way, if you're wondering what this fundraiser was, this is where you had uh, Roseanne Barr as a guest of honor. You had Carrie Lake joined by Laura Loomer, who were also uh, guests of honors there. And Donald Trump praised the beauty, he said, of Laura Loomer as she was attacking Justice Juan Mershon's daughter. That's the judge presiding over the Manhattan District Attorney criminal case in New York, set for trial in April 15th. So no Melania there. Let's get this straight. You had Melania getting an award that Donald Trump accepted, and then Donald Trump praising Laura Loomer as being beautiful. Play this clip. We have a lot of great friends and a lot of great people. Laura, how are you? You look so beautiful, as always. That's a woman with courage. You don't want to be you don't want to be loomered. If you're loomered, you're in deep trouble. That's the end of your career in a sense. Thanks, Laura. And by the way, just so like you know who like Laura Loomer is. Um, when she lost uh, running for her congressional campaign where she compared being banned on Twitter previously to uh, the Holocaust. This, this is Laura Loomer right here. Here, play this clip. We are losing our country because of big tech election interference. And I am pleading with the Republican Party to please start taking this issue seriously. Please. Because the American people deserve representation. And that's a... That's why I ran for Congress in 2020. It's why I ran for Congress in 2022. And it's why I'm going to keep fighting for all of you. I'm never going to. Sorry, I, I digress there for a moment. Going back to Melania ditching Donald Trump. You know who didn't ditch Donald Trump? Alina Habba. She returned from St. Bart's where she was partying it up after getting paid three and a half to five million dollars from Donald Trump's political action committees. Then she was partying it up at Mar-a-Lago. You see her there living the high life, uh, even though she's lost two major cases um, and lost many others, but most recently the $83.3 million uh, case where uh, Donald Trump, $83.3 million judgment against Donald Trump by E. Jean Carroll, where Donald Trump was found liable for sexually assaulting her, then the $83.3 million for um, defaming his sexual assault victim, then the $464 million uh, verdict where Donald Trump still has yet to post a valid bond there. But again, I digress. But you know, one of the things I want to point out here, though, with Melania ditching Donald Trump is the effort to which the media goes to act like she's not ditching Donald Trump. I mean, let me just show you this other video from a few weeks back during the Republican primary in Florida where Donald Trump um, did uh, far less than what his expectations were. I mean, he did not have a good night in Florida. There was massive votes for uh, Nikki Haley. But remember, Melania was asked, um, are you going to be on the campaign with him? And remember what she said? Here, play this clip. Mrs. Trump, Mrs. Trump, are you going to return to the campaign trail with your husband? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. But despite all of that, the media goes out of its lane. So goes out of its way to to try to act like Melania is there for him. And what the media does for Trump is they buy into all of the BS and the fraud and they report things that Trump and his team say are going to happen, which never happens. So one of the first examples I can give you of this is this is a Murdoch. 
um, uh, 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 publication, page six of the New York Post, where in December they go, Melania Trump's going to step up her public appearances for Donald in 2024. Time to leave her mark on history. And then it quotes sources saying that she's going to be out on the trail. Well, it's April and she's not out on the trail. And she just ditched Donald Trump at an event where he had to accept the award and acted like he was the one who won it. But setting aside the Murdoch stuff, because I could show you all of the Rupert Murdoch stuff, um, there was a recent article um, that was published uh, first by Politico here. Um, and Politico said that uh, they got this exclusive and they go, Melania Trump is back, set to hold the vent for the log cabin Republicans. The former first lady had been largely absent from the campaign trail. Now, the same day you're posting that Politico, she literally ditched him at the event. But yet you're running these propaganda headlines about things that you claim are going to happen in the future, but you're writing them in the present as kind of propaganda pieces. So then Politico writes that. And then what happens? You got CNN and Fox and Yahoo and ABC and all of the legacy. They then follow and they write the story. So even though Melania is not there, Trump manipulates the media, legacy media, just a, being played for a bunch of fools like they are to write that. But knowing fools, they, they like being used by Donald Trump to get that access to push these ridiculous narratives right here. So when you actually read the article, it talks about how there's going to be a fundraiser on April 20th. So she's going out on the campaign trail. Well, let's read this article for a second. It goes, Melania, who's been largely absent, is back on the GOP fundraising circuit. Well, no, she isn't. The former first lady is set to hold her first major political event of this year. Where's it going to be? Where's it going to be? What's your guess? Yeah, it's in Mar-a-Lago. A fundraiser for the Log Cabin Republicans on April 20th at Mar-a-Lago, the Palm Beach, Florida club where she and former president live. So she's going to step out of the hallway to show up because Donald Trump basically needs someone because of his and his administration's horrible rhetoric towards the LGBTQ plus community. So they think it could soften the blow if you stick Melania there. And um, I, I wonder, though, has, has Melania responded um, to this? Has, has a Trump spokesperson responded? A Trump spokesperson did not immediately respond to a request for comment about Melania being at this event. Well, that's odd. Well, what about the log cabin Republicans? Are they going to have some comment about Melania being there on April 20th, like two weeks from now? You're writing stories now about something that's going to happen then. Fox News Digital reached out to the log cabin Republicans and representatives for the Trump campaign for, com for confirmation, but did not receive a response. So what kind of what kind of story is this? <laughs> what is the point of this story? The point of the story is to provide a propaganda piece because Melania keeps ditching him and Trump knows you can play the media like a fiddle by giving them these stories. They write about it and then everyone else kind of picks it up. But here at the Midas Touch Network, we're calling you out, media, the same way we're calling all this out as bogus PR stunts, weird wannabe fascism stuff that's going on at Mar-a-Lago. By the way, I want to show you more stuff on, on Melania in just a moment here, but take a look at like, this is from Axios. This is just a perfect example though, of them being played like a fiddle too. And Mike Allen's a smart guy. He knows exactly what he's doing here. He wants access for Axios. And here's what he says. He goes, Trump's flex, this is from March 29th, plans to host an even bigger fundraiser than Biden. Plans to host an even bigger. Oh, okay, well, Biden held a fundraiser, raised $26 million, has is crushing Donald Trump in fundraising. Just take a look at some of these recent numbers, by the way. Election 2024, presidential ad spending since Super Tuesday through this week. Biden camp and allies, $16 million. Trump camp and allies, $3.4 million. Kennedy camp, $409,000. Future reservations currently booked, not plans in the future, not some fraud, fraudulent statements about things that may happen that never actually happen. Pro-Biden groups have currently booked $132.4 million in ad spends through November already. Pro-Trump groups, 265,000. So Donald Trump needs the assist from Axios and Politico and groups like this. So Mike Allen goes, here's the Trump flex. He plans to host an event bigger than Biden's. Okay. 
And by the way, they keep going with these things. Here's the other scoop. Trump campaign on track for $43 million night in Palm Beach. They're, they're on track for it. Well, the bottom line is, are they going to do it? And where is the money going to be spent? Where is the money? Show me the money. Rather than saying they're on track, why don't you see when it's actually collected? Where is it going? Is it going to legal fees? Is it going to legal bills? Is it going to Melania's hairdresser? Maybe you do some reporting and focus on, I don't know, like those actual facts. How about that the next event that Donald Trump is going to be having as part of a campaign is like in weeks from now? How about we take a look at those things? How about we do that? Going back to Melania for a moment here, because I can't let her off the hook here, even though I find it still somewhat funny that she um, continues to ditch him and then go, and you, you like our little Midas touch graphic. Where's Melania now? We did our own version of like, uh, like where's Waldo? When you actually put Melania out there and you hear Melania talk, well, you have Melania who arrived here in the United States from a modeling agency that basically brought in Eastern European women to introduce them to wealthy men at the Kit Kat Club. Paolo Zampoli um, was the one who sponsored Melania's um, genius visa, Einstein visa. She was introduced to Trump at the Kit Kat Club where these, pot, where these parties where models met wealthy businessmen and Trump was one of those wealthy businessmen who, who met. Her uh, green card process was expedited. Her citizenship was expedited. Um, but here is Melania when she has the audacity to attack, when she had the audacity to attack former President Obama. Remember this? Play the clip. But what and is this with the birth certificate obsession? Did he ask to see yours when you met him? I well, mean, I needed to put mine anyway because if you want to become an American citizen, you need to put the, Amer the birth certificate. Right. I have a birth certificate from Slovenia. Mm -hmm. And do you, do you want to see President Obama birth certificate I've or not? It. I've seen it. It's, it's not it, a birth certificate. Well, it's a, it's a certificate of live birth, right, which they but, get. But Melania, that, if they... If he insists on what he's saying, then no one in Hawaii can ever run for president because they all get the same live birth certificate. Well, but they need ben to Hitler have... Hitler is finished, for example. <laughs> <laughs> they need to have, and in one way, it will be very easy if President Obama just show it. And because but he it's, does. Not only, it's not only Donald <laughs> who wants to see it. It's American people who voted for him and who didn't vote for him. They want to see that. But it, it's on display in Chicago. We've seen it on the internet. We've seen it. It's, it's not the same as yours, but, but it's it, a certificate of live birth. Well, I, uh, we feel it's, it's different than, you know, birth certificate. All right. Well, I think you should give it up at this point. Well, it's point. not. It's, the, it's not the him that it's bringing up. It's the media all the time, all the time. And remember when Melania just uh, plagiarized Michelle Obama's speech word for word from the 2008 convention? Melania just like quite literally plagiarized. Here, play this clip. The, the values, values that you work like, hard for what you, you work want hard in life. For what you want in life. That your word is, that your, your, word bond, is your bond. That you, that you do, do what, what you say, say you're going to do. Keep your promise. That you treat people, that you treat people with respect. With dignity because and respect and because, because we, want we want our children, children and all in children in this nation to know that, to know that the only limit to the height of your achievements is the reach of your, of your dreams, dreams and your willingness and your to willingness work hard to for, work them. for them. So when Melania actually does speak, it's not a graceful person. It's actually someone who's quite vile. Remember what she said about Christmas? Remember what she said about, uh, remember when she, when she and Stephanie Winston Walkoff were talking and hat tip to friend of the show, Stephanie Winston Walkoff, like remember, oh, by the way, remember when Melania destroyed the Rose Garden? And then remember when Melania said this, play this clip. They say I'm, I'm complacent. I'm the same like him. I support him. I don't no. say enough. I don't do enough. No. It's, where, it's, where I am, the, I put the, I'm working like a, Ask my ass I know. The Christmas stuff that, you know, who gives a f about Christmas stuff and decoration, but I need to do it, right? Yeah, but a hundred percent. You have and no then, choice. And okay. And then I do it and I say that I'm working on Christmas, uh, planning for the Christmas. And they said, oh, what about the children that they were separated? Give me a break. The 
where, where they were saying anything when Obama did that. I know. They, they, I cannot go. I I was trying to get the, the kid reunited with the mom. I, I, I didn't have a chance. It needs to go through the process and through the law. But here's my thing. Did you hear what you just said? But instead of that, if, if you just, your messaging, you you were so loved. You they were. would not do the story. We put it out. They would not do the story. I'm telling you. You would not believe it. They would not do the story because no, they are not. They would not do the story because they are, they are, they are against us because they are liberal media. Yeah, if I go to Fox, they will do the story. I don't want to go to Fox. So I love that the media tries to, she's coming. She's absolutely going to be there. Wait for the future. This was a story from Newsweek. You remember this story? Like, they go, the, and Trump posted it. It was like, the Trump shoes are selling for $450,000. Me, just no, they aren't. You just, they just make stuff up. They're, no one's buying the Trump sneaker for $450,000. Some idiot troll posted it on eBay or something and put the bid price at $450,000. Just enough. It, that's what happened. Not someone's buying it. Stop with the freaking scamming the American people. I don't care what political party you're from. I don't care if you're a Democrat, Republican, Independent, whatever. You deserve to be just told the truth about all of this. Stop with the media propaganda Kim Jong Un style narratives for this for these grifter Trumper fraudsters. Stop it. Well, you always have Midas Touch uh, Network here on our YouTube channel as the alternative to bring you the facts, no matter what. Though, um, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. Melania ditch Trump. Three million subs. Let's get there. Hit subscribe. It's free. Have a good one. It's Ken Harbaugh with the Midas Touch Network. The film Against All Enemies, which I co-produced with Ben Mycellus and this network, has won awards around the world for its up-close portrayal of America's insurrectionist movement. It premieres in the U.S. on March 29th on Amazon and Apple TV. Go to AgainstAllEnemiesFilm.com or click the link below. But don't just watch Against All Enemies. Tell your friends about it. It's one more way to hold accountable those who threaten our democracy. Thanks Midas Mighty, let's use our power well.